Welcome back to an updated tutorial, how to get Neos and get started. So you actually have two options now as we're back on Steam. So first option being, you can go ahead, get to Steam uh, on the store. You can just go ahead and search for Neos and we're back on the store. So go ahead, just hit Neos and then hit play. It downloads, it's free, there's no charge uh, and you can get going. Uh, if you want tokens, that's uh, NCR, CDFT, uh, KFC, then you'll need to download the standalone build. Here's how to do that. So go ahead, go to neos.com. I'll put the link in the description, but it's neos.com. And you can go ahead and click this logo in the middle. It says get neos. This is a temporary uh, situation. We'll be updating uh, this link and also the launcher, but it's uh, right now is what it is. So go ahead, hit get neos. It's going to download an exe. Uh, if we swap over to my... Uh, File browser here, you'll see that I've got two copies of it just because I downloaded it a couple of times. And then I can go ahead and run Neo Setup, go through the UAC prompt, I can hit accept, I can hit next, I can hit next, I can hit next. Here are uh, create desktop shortcut. Do recommend this. I don't use desktop shortcuts, so I just left that blank. Hit next install, and I'll go ahead and install Neos. Once Neos is installed, you'll find the desktop shortcut if you use that option. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at where I installed it to. So in the uh, launch uh, install, I selected uh, that it should be installed to C Neos. So here's C Neos. So everything at this top level folder here, this is all the Neos launcher. Let me go ahead and see if I can make this a little bit bigger for you. Uh, uh, yeah, that's good. So there's the uh, this is the Neos launcher. Look for this blue logo. It'll say Neos Pro launcher right now. Like it's been said a few times, the uh, Launcher that's uh, in place right now is temporary. It's actually just sort of repurposed Neos Pro Launcher. Just go ahead, launch that. You can see there's even tentative up here. It will check for any updates and then let you know if there are any updates to uh, get for Neos. Uh, once that's all done, you can go ahead and launch in VR or launch on screen mode. Uh, you only really need to use the launcher um, right now if there's been an update. So do check those update notes. I just recommend running it like once every couple of days and then using that to launch Neos and you'll be totally fine. Uh, so there you go. Those are the options. You can also click launch in VR or launch on screen. Launch in VR will automatically detect your VR headset based on what's plugged into your computer. And then launch on screen will just launch in the desktop screen mode. That's all there is really to it. Uh, if you want to go ahead and launch it from the Steam version, you can just go over to library here, you can hit play, and then you've got all these options here. So the first one would do automatic detection based on the hardware plugged into your computer. Launch uh, Neos VR in Steam VR mode will force it into Steam VR mode. Great if you've got sort of an Octus headset, but you use uh, full body tracking with uh, Steam VR trackers. Uh, desktop will launch in non VR mode. It will uh, start up screen mode. You'll be in desktop that's fully supported now. And then launch the Neos launcher will uh, launch another Neos launcher, which isn't the launcher I just showed you. I know that's a confusing statement, but we're, it is what it is. We're dealing with it. I'll update things when that's uh, sort of changed. If you want to take a look at the Neos launcher, it's this thing here. It's got a bunch of options here that uh, we might go through in another tutorial, but uh, not this particular one. It's got a lot of sort of advanced stuff that you don't just usually need to use. That's all there is really to it. I'm going to move on to another tutorial based on uh, some questions we've received about the uh, launcher non-Steam build one in a next video, just to keep things nice and short. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.